Perhaps you think your dog is your savior. Perhaps you think she's your best friend. Perhaps you love her more than anything. I used to think that too. My personal hell started on a chilly fall night. The wind was whispering outside and I had been woken up by a tiny noise in the kitchen below me. I groaned and tried to go back to sleep, but the noise, annoyingly, didn't go away. At the time, I thought it was only my dog, who probably wanted out, but I think even then I knew something wasn't right. Pulling myself out of bed, I sleepily padded down the stairs. The sound was louder now, and I can only describe it as bones crunching under the weight of sharp teeth, but louder and worse. Despite myself, I became horribly scared as I continued my descent. Regrettably, I wasn't scared enough to be smart. I continued walking, and the stairs squeaked loudly. I flinched. The noise stopped. Then, suddenly, thuds. No, not thuds, footsteps. Running, uneven footsteps coming towards me from the kitchen. I cannot to this day describe the feeling of utter terror that washed over me as I stumbled a few stairs back up to my room as the footsteps gained speed and sound. Gasping, I slammed the door behind me, locking it. Behind me, something hit the door, and I heard a little whine. It sounded like my dog. The terror inside me disappeared completely. My dog had simply gotten out of its kennel and had been rooting around in the kitchen. I felt silly, suddenly, for getting so scared. I began to laugh out loud at myself. I leaned down to unlock the door, laughing and talking to my dog, but before I could, I heard a chilling whine in my closet. I froze, laughter dying in my throat, head snapping towards my closet. I was hit with the horrible realization that I hadn't been my dog in its kennel that night. I remembered quite clearly now, watching my dog slink into my walk-in closet as I drifted off to sleep. In addition to that, there was a hatch in my closet that opened onto the roof. I never locked that hatch. I'd left the closet door open, as well as my room door, because my dog slept in the closet often. The closet door was now closed. I didn't want to open it. I stood stock still in the center of my room, fear numbing my mind as I heard another whine from the closet, then one from the door, and then one from outside. Whirling around, hard in my throat, I saw paws scrabbling on the glass of one of my window. I was hysteric as I rushed to the window to peer outside, but. I could see nothing else. I was struck with the realization that all my escape routes were closed. I couldn't get out of the house unless I opened the window or either door and let whatever was on the other side in. I am now waiting for the morning, but morning never seems to come. No matter what I do, I hear the same sounds from the closet, the window, and the door. Every time I think I know for certain that I have found my dog in my escape, I hear something from the other side of the room and my hopes come crashing down. I can't be sure if it was my dog sneaking into my closet as I fell asleep, or if something came into the skylight, because no dog could close my closet door. I can't be sure if those are her paws scrabbling outside my room. And I'll never know if her heartbreaking cries are the ones outside of my window. Each choice is probable, yet impossible. It has been growing in my mind that death is coming for me. Unless I choose.